a comparative analysis of the BYU Family History Library slide scanners. Disclaimer, the summaries at the end of this presentation are my own suggestions and not official suggestions by the BYU Family History Library. Over the ages of time, man has sought various ways to preserve history and memories as hieroglyphics, to paintings, to etchings, to sculptures, to drawings. Napoleon stated that a good sketch is better than a long speech, and the American editor Fred Bernard stated almost a hundred years ago, a picture is worth a thousand words. Eventually, to capture time, cameras were developed. Here is the oldest known camera photo taken in 1826. The Frenchman de Goody developed a popular camera for its time. Here is a de Goodograph type of Joseph Smith the Prophet. And the first known photo, a de Goodograph type of Abraham Lincoln in 1846. In 1927, Leica introduced 35 millimeter format to still photography. 35 miller slides and pictures with such rich color and sharp details became extremely popular from the 1940s to 1990s. Then came digital cameras from compact to professional DSLRs. Remember the good old days of hours of fireside mission reports and family gatherings centered around 35 millimeter slides, a carousel projector at a screen? The big question for today with so many 35 millimeter slides taken, what do we do with them? The answer lies in digitalizing them to preserve them to share them via social media, family search memories, or external storage units. The BYU Family History Library has wonderful slide scanners to help in this important process. There are the Epson slide scanners and a recently added slide snap scanner. Both have advantages and disadvantages. With the Epson there is a very lengthy scanning time and there have been questions as to the quality of the scans with the SNAP scanner. In order to make the best recommendation to dedicated patrons, I did a comparison of the two scanners to discover scan time per slide and quality of digital scans. To have variation in the slides, I used three slides from the 1940s. My father had taken these, and these were glass slides with tape around the edges, some from the 1960s and from the 1980s. For the time portion, 15 slides were used as that is the number a tray uses. BYU's excellent scanning instructions were in followed. The only variable was with the resolution of the slides were scanned at 2400, 1200, and then also at 600 DPI. They were then scanned with a snap scanner. Since many aren't familiar with this machine, may I note a couple of things. Place the slides in the carousel as to be directly viewed. Do not place them as to be used in a regular projector, which was upside down and backwards. Be sure to ask the students at the desk for help. There are not various settings for the snap scanner, but I found it helps to make sure that the first slide is at best focus by adjusting with this top button. And then press here to get started and watch it go to work. There's a program on the slide snap scanner computer that will rapidly crop and align all scans. Now let's note the results of the quantitative time part. These results are for only the actual scanning time. I did not count time for the loading, unloading, or any edit of, of the scans. Scanned at 2400 dpi, the time per slide is 1 minute 30 seconds. For 100 slides would be 2 hours and 20 minutes. At 1200 dpi, the time per slide was 1 minute 20 seconds, or for 100 slides, 2 hours. At 600 dpi, the time was cut in half. If scanning at 1200 or 2400 dpi and one has a thousand slides, then it would take at least 20 to 22 hours or eight hours a day for three days for the scanning. With a slide snap scanner, each slide took three seconds. For 100, that's five minutes. For 1000 slides, it would be 50 minutes. The slide snap scanner is over 20 times faster than the other scanners. Now let's look at the qualitative analysis of the scanners. It is stated that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so this must be an eyeball test. The 
slides were each scanned four different ways and were evaluated by five people with representation from the family history library directors, library student staff, leadership of the missionaries, and a missionary that is a professional photographer. The nine scans were shown on a computer and also on the big screen to also look for possible differences. The evaluators then rated the four scans from each slide from one best to four the least. Here's how it worked. You be the judge. By your eyeball test, please rate them one to four. Here's one A, one B, one C, one D. Here they are all again. Do you focus on the car, the lady, my mother, or the background? Here are the results. How do they come with what you did? We, this, uh, we did this evaluation for all 36 scans and then evaluated the results. To our surprise, 50% of the number one were from the slide snap scanner. Yet there were some among the threes and fours. 2400 and 1200 DPI rated about the same, with 600 DPI most always in the lower numbers. I also had evaluated hard copy prints made from the scans. Four missionaries did the same evaluating eyeball test. They took as long as wanted to hold and evaluate the photos. On an average, 40% of the number one prints were from the slide snap scanner. Yet 75% of the number ones and twos were scanned on the Epson at 2400 DPI. Again, 600 DPI rated lower. The library staff did a previous study that found that the scans from the Epson scanners that were directly printed on paper looked better than from the slide snap scanner. Again the disclaimer, the following summaries are my suggestions and not official suggestions by the BYU Family History Library. Based on quantitative and qualitative analysis of the Epson slide scanner and the slide snap scanner, I would recommend scanning all the slides first on the slide snap scanner. Hours of scanning time will be saved and the quality is real good. Then evaluate which scan slides need more scanning time and do them on the Epson scanner at 1200 DPI. If making hard copy pictures from the scans, it looks like the best quality is to scan them at 2400 DPI on the Epson slide scanner. But the 1200 DPI and slide snap scanner do turn out good, but not overall as good as the 2400. Well, it's time to go to work and start scanning. Don't forget before you go to come use the great resources of the BYU Family History Library. Make sure to go online and reserve the scanner of your choice. Start scanning. It's well worth it.